Hey, what's up you guys? So I just filmed this tutorial for you. I'm finally getting back into filming. Um, I have a million reasons why I haven't been uploading, but I won't bore you. But I do have cat freaking hair in my mouth. But I hope I upload this. I've freaking made so many videos and just haven't upload them, uploaded them. So let's see. Let's see if I switch it up on myself and actually do something that I'll say I'm going to do. <laughs> and not be an indecisive ass Libra, you know. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm like, fuck it. Like, I just, every time I make a video, I'm like, I hate this. i so over it. I'm not uploading it. But now, if I hate this video, man, if I hate it. I'm still going to post it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first shade we're going to go with is... Actually, I'm going to mix um, Isabel and um, Lula. Lula. We're going to mix them. I'm just going to take it on. I think this is the brush that it came with. And, oh, she, wait, first, I lied. <laughs> I'm way too ahead of myself, girl. Um, first color, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, you so good, then. Okay. The first color I'm actually going to take is, um, I'm going to just, hmm. I just want to, like, cover my lid so I'm just gonna take this shade from the uh, shade and light palette it's um Sam Samael I don't know I'm not, I'm not familiar with Latin and I'm just going to put this all over my lid as a base um, because I had um, concealer on my lid so I don't want I'm gonna try to prevent as much tugging as possible I feel when you put a skin tone shadow or light shadow down over your eye base it just helps with the blending you know what I'm saying okay now now we're gonna take Lula and um, Isabel I'm just gonna put them back and forth and tap that out and you're just gonna put this in your crease transition area um, when I first put this color down, I have the most pressure right in the crease. And then as I go upwards towards my brow, I'm going to release pressure. And this is really just going to help with a really nice gradient effect. Make it look super nice and blended and make sure nothing is blunt. Like when I'm like going back and forth right here, like on my brow bone area, I have super light pressure. Like I'm barely even really touching the skin. But when I go back down into the crease, I make sure there's a lot of pressure to make sure I get the most amount of like pigmentation from the color, you know? And I'm not adding any more extra color. I'm just moving around everything that I already placed down and buff it out until I'm satisfied. I think I'm actually gonna go like kind of more outward with this look. I don't know why I've been lately kind of liking to do that. So it kind of comes to almost a point. It just kind of elongates the eye a little bit more. Or Next, on the same brush, I'm just going to take Violetta, which is this third one in. It's a bit darker. I'm just going to basically just place that right on top of the last shades we put on. Um, I'm just not going to bring it up as high towards my brow. And I'm really going to actually focus a lot of it on the outer corner. So I'm just going to like... Um, rock it right in the crease not picking up the brush at all or moving it i'm just doing like circular motions to buff it out and then once i'm satisfied i'll start blending it inward with a little bit less pressure and again once i go start going upward 
I'm releasing pressure as well just to help out with the blending okay now let's see I want to take I think a little bit even more of a darker brown actually why not throw in a purple to make things interesting so I'm gonna take um, the shade meat matrimony from the bomb it was like from my cousin gave it to me I think it was in her um, bakshi charm or her ipsy bag um but yeah it's just a dark oh wait matt it's matt moskowitz <laughs> it's so cute but it's a dark deep purple and i think i'm gonna take it on this sonia kashuk blending brush I'll never forget when Queen of Blending, like, back in the day, she talked about this, and I, like, had to go get it. Like, I was obsessed. But I'm just going to put this right on top of, um, Violetta, the shade we just put on. And I'm actually going to bring it in a little bit more onto my lid. lately those like no eyeliner looks or whatever like where it's like an empty space where the eyeliner would be makes me fucking horny like they're so pretty and like the one tutorial i watched the other day oh my god it was like unreal i mean it's not even that hard of a freaking look but i just love when there's like a new trend with makeup that comes out and it's actually like cute you know it's not like something corny just to get views it's like it's like interesting you know what I mean um, another thing that I do to help with blending if you find there's too much product on your brush I just pounce it on the back of my brush and it kind of just takes off anything ex extra um, and there's still a little bit left on there so that you can still get color but there's not too much and it won't get too muddy you know what I mean cool okay so now for the lid I think I want to put this shade I used to wear this all the time I used to wear this color all the time like religiously <laughs> so let me clean this up real quick okay so the color I'm gonna take <coughs> The next color I'm going to take is Chrome from the Laura Pro 2 palette. It's this one right here, I think. Yes. And I'm just going to take it on my ring finger. And I'm going to pack it on my lid. You could use a brush, but I just like to do this. Um, you could even wet your brush, and that'll give a really pretty foiled effect. I'm just going to take that Sonia Kashuk brush that I used to apply the purpley shade and I'm just going to like buff over it, uh, buff over the two to kind of combine them. But okay. Ooh, girl. This shit look, this shit look nice though. Ooh, girl. Alright, I kind of want to add something else. Ooh, maybe, you know what? Girl, you know what? You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take. I think I'm gonna go in my dusty ass self made palette. This was my first Anastasia palette. Shout out to Anastasia, ABH, Novena, Claudia. <laughs> um, their products are amazing, but this was my first product and it's beat to shreds, but. I still, it's my ride or die. I've hit pan. I mean, I hit pan on like every eyeshadow palette I get, but I love this. It's like most random palette in my kind of. It's like kind of like really random, but it's like amazing, you know? But um, I'm gonna take, ooh. Like, like this palette was just like, man, we shut the fuck up. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take Pink Champagne and um, my really dirty brush 
you know, my biggest question is, do these, like, legit, like, beauty gurus or beauty influencers, like, brush their, wash their brushes every day? Like, they act like you should? Because, <laughs> I don't. And I, I feel stupid sometimes, but at the same time, it's like, you know, but I got time for this shit, you know? All right, but anyway, I'm just going to take this brush, which is a Wet n Wild little smudger brush, and my uh, Urban Decay setting spray. You could just use water if you want to be a little more stingy with this because it's expensive and shit. Um, but then I'm just going to dip it in there. This makes it super foiled, by the way. Like, crazy foiled. Like, so pretty. And um, just pack it on. And then, I'm just going to pack it on there. Can you see me? Okay. Starting from the inner corner. Oh, yeah, I'm like a bitch. And it's going to kind of be like a liner. Or a cut crease. But I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm just going to go like halfway. you could go all the way across your lid if you want I just don't really want to I don't really even know why I'm doing this but I mean fuck it and it's like 1 o'clock at night but where I live like northeast PA Scranton branch where you at um we're about to get hit by this storm. I mean, if you live on the East Coast at all, I'm pretty sure everyone's getting hit by it. But, um, yeah. So, I'm just like, I'm acting as if I have a snow day, even though I'm not even in school. I'm just gonna act like I'm 15 again. Just a little hotter, you feel me? <laughs> now, brainstorming. I'm going to actually go back to that shade from the bomb on this little um, crease brush from I think Essence of Beauty or Eco Tools. I don't know. This is like my first brush I've ever bought in my life, um, and I was like. 10 I don't know I had this for years is this still recording okay I've had this like for years and I still use it and it's still amazing I had like like a big shader brush but that like the ferrule or whatever came off but this still is my rock but I'm just gonna take it on this crease brush and meet up with um that pink champagne and meet up to where I placed it on the outer corner And I'm going to go like back and forth with this brush and the brush where I put the pink champagne. I'm not going to add any more pink champagne. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth until I'm satisfied with um, where they form together, you know. And I'm also not going to add any more product to this either. Now, for the lower lash line, I think I'm done. I'm just basically going to repeat everything I did in my crease and stuff on my eye, like the same steps. So I'm going to go with Isabella and Lula, then Violetta, and then um, the bomb shade, and then yeah, you'll see what I mean.
like while I'm doing my makeup sometimes I'm like wow my left eye is booty but then at the end of it I'm like wow actually my left eye is the golden child Something you have to remember with your makeup, you can't think about it too much. Oh my god, did I fuck it up? Um, because when you start thinking about it too much is when you just screw it up. Like, I think I just screwed it up right now. So, every time you do your makeup, just don't think about it too much. You know, just have fun with it. And I promise you, you probably will come out with a better outcome. Now for my brow bone, I think I'm going to take, go in my shade and light palette and just take um, the color Salios. It's just the white, the super stark white shade. You don't have to take super white. I just personally prefer that. I'm just taking on this e.l.f. Um, flat shader brush and I just place it on there and then I take that first brush we took in this look and just buff out that transition shade into the white and that just helps further more blending. Because motherfuckers just walk in my room while I'm filming and it makes me all nervous and shit and I can't keep talking to the camera and it kills my vibes you know fuck all right now I'm not gonna do liner actually should I I don't know I think that might be too much for this shit um you know I'm trying to go for a more every day you know casual look <laughs> you feel me just kidding but um what I might do is tight line my eyes which is just to make the eyes look a little or your eyelashes look a little thicker just a little trick you got in the back of the book this creek and I just use a gel liner oh god oh oh god God damn, my eyes are itching me. They're about to water. Oh my god. That's like my least favorite part of doing my eyes. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's got enough for me. That's got enough for me. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm just going to do my mascara and then put on my, mas my false lashes. Which, um, today I'm going to use my Eyelord Definition Lashes. Um, they're my favorites. They kind of remind me of the House of Lashes Fairy Noirs. They're so bomb. They're so bomb, dude. So bomb. They're so pretty. Um, yeah, I just need to trim into my eyes, you know. And also my mascara that I use is the Big Shot Mascara. Um, I'll probably just do that off camera, save some time not bore you too much you know and then we'll be back and do pick a lip color and then I think we're gonna be done <laughs> oh god dang you got some clothes don't you oh sorry Come on. We rehearsed this. We rehearsed this, Simon. <laughs> 